Hello children, so now we will see question number 13. Now this is quite different from the problems that we have been doing till now. We have been doing all the problems where x and y was some way in numerator, yes. Now this is the first question that you are facing where you see x and y are in denominator. So we have to, okay, we have to write them in this form okay we have to write them in this form now how to write okay one more thing it's not necessary that you have you always have x over here or y over here okay you can have any other letter also okay you can have any other letter also like here i'm using u and v but if here you have u then here also you should have u only okay and here let's say v so how to do this type of question so firstly copy this first one okay so 7 upon x plus 8 upon y is equal to 2 now this can be written as 7 into 1 upon x plus 8 into 1 upon y equal to now what you will do is you will put 1 upon x you will give some other value to this okay you will put this as u okay you will give some other letter to them okay and you will put this as b so we will write over here put 1 upon x equal to u and 1 upon y equal to v then what happens then you get 7 now 7 into 1 upon x but in place of 1 upon x what we have to write now you have to write u so you get 7u plus 8v is equal to 2 okay now this should be given as equation 1 okay and we will copy second one okay so 2 upon x plus 12 upon y is equal to 20 done now here this can be written as 2 into 1 upon x and plus 12 into 1 upon y is equal to 20 so what we will do we are putting 1 upon x as u yes so this becomes 2u okay and this becomes 12v okay and this will be simply 20 and one thing you observe over here is that here we have 2 here we have 12 here we have 20 these three are multiples okay they are multiple of 2 yes or no so we can divide throughout by 2 okay means i will divide each term by 2 so i will get u over here here 6v okay and here i will get 10 okay put this as equation 2 or what i'll do you simply leave this like this leave, the, leave it like this and you write thus 7u plus 8v equal to 2 give this equation 1 and u plus 6v equal to 10 give this equation 2 now this is simultaneous equation yes simultaneous equation in u and v okay where u is equal to 1 upon x and v is equal to 1 upon y done now as i have taught you you should see what you have in front of this u okay so in front of u we have 7 so that should be multiplied over here here what we have 1 so this one should be multiplied to equation 1 then what happened now when you're multiplying throughout by 1 you get simply 7u plus 8v is equal to 2 this will be your equation 3 
then multiply throughout by 7 so you get 7 u 6 7 is a 42 and here 70 this becomes 4 now you see that these two are same yes so we need to subtract so here this becomes minus here minus here minus okay now 7u and minus 7u cancelled 8v and minus 42v yes so here we need to subtract okay so 42 minus 8 okay so how much we'll get 34 yes so minus 34v is equal to and here see 2 and minus 70 so you get minus 68 so v will be equal to minus 68 divided by minus 34 so minus minus cancel and th 34 will divide 2 is a yes so you get 2 okay so v equal to 2 leave it like this now put v equal to 2 in equation 1 so here what we have got in equation 1 we have 7u plus 8v equal to 2 so 7u plus 8v is equal to 2 substitute the value for uh, v so 7u plus 8 into 2 is equal to 2 now 7u plus 16 is equal to 2 okay then you get 7u is equal to 2 minus 16 so 7u is equal to minus 14 so u equal to minus 14 divided by 7 so you get minus 2 okay so you got value for u and v okay thus u equal to minus 2 and v equal to 2 okay but what we had assumed u as u was 1 upon x yes and v was 1 upon y so what we will do is now in place of u we will write 1 upon x yes and in place of v we will write 1 upon y so now we will solve for x so cross multiply so you get 1 equal to minus 2x so what will be value for x x will be 1 upon minus 2 that means minus half and for y okay cross multiply so you get 1 is equal to 2y so your y will be 1 by 2 okay so you got your answer x equal to minus half and y equal to half so you write therefore x equal to minus half and y equal to half okay answer